So I've been asked what I do so to enable tulips that have been in a pot. These would have been bought bulbs that uh, I potted up last autumn. And what I do is when the tulips get to this stage or even this stage here, the, you see the, the, they're no longer, I tend to actually leave them a little bit longer till they're at this stage. And then what I do is I chop that part off because I don't want the seed head, which is that, to swell up and for the bulb to expend energy. Um, I'm not gonna feed this lot, but over here, these are tulips and daffodils that are done. These daffodils, you can see the daffodils are already swelling their heads. These are white ones that I, and here's some grape hyacinths as well. So this was a combination of grape hyacinths. These were little white daffodils and these were white tulips. You can see the leaves here. So they were a lovely white tulip. So what I do is I chop those off, every single one. I'm doing this one handed. There we go, and chop those off, those. So I'll chop all the seed heads off. Here you can see there's a whole bunch of seed heads. I should actually go lower down. I will on the stalk, it's just difficult to film. So those, I'll trim all the rest of the heads off of the tulips and the grape hyacinths and the daffodils. So these are the heads. These are the seed heads. You can see the seed heads forming here and here. But the most important one for me at any rate is the, is the um, tulip heads because I don't want them to do any swelling whatsoever. The grape hyacinths are really tough nuts and so are daffodils. So what I then do is I don't take them out of the pot. I get some um, organic seaweed stuff and I pour it into a container. And then I feed it. And I will feed this until the green bulbs start yellowing. And in feeding them, I'm revitalizing the bulb. Then when the green of these dies back, and these, these are hyacinths that flowered earlier. So there were uh, big hyacinths, grape hyacinths, daffodils and tulips. When the green, all these greens fade to yellow, I then empty the pot and I plant out the different bulbs where I want them to be. And that is how I do planting outs. Like all those red tulips there are X pot bulbs. And every year I would add a few more to this wall uh, from the pots of that, that previous year. So those, there's bulbs in that bed that are, that could be six or seven years old. So I always add a few more. Actually, I haven't added a few for a while. So that, those were all X pot bulbs that were given this treatment that I just showed you. And that is how I am getting more and more tulips out into the garden and grounds and just letting them do their own thing. This is so lovely, the bluebells. And look, this wallflower is beginning to bloom. Its blooms are closed at the moment because uh, there's no sun, but, um, and time. And this, a friend gave me one of these. I'm gonna be planting that in this bed here. But uh, no, it's all looking well. These tulips will be getting my treatment soon enough. Hello, you. Were you having a lovely time? Were you having a lovely time? Yes, yes, good pup. So as you've been asking, that is what I do there.